Hello everyone and welcome to another Zapecast Cup of the Day. For those of you who don't know, this is a tournament where we get 10 minutes to learn a map we have never seen before and then 2 minute knockout rounds where the slowest players get eliminated. Today's map is made by Quick Racer, who is one of my favorite mappers in this game. I have been looking forward to this Cup of the Day for like a couple months now since I heard he was making a map. This looks a lot like most of Quick, Quick Racer's maps. Whoa, cool. Going into Void. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, noted. What is happening over here? Purple is the risky, I'm guessing. Alright. I don't see any skips or anything, so that's good. Someone's trying something, but that's not gonna work. I'm gonna look into uh, steering keys, see if I can find a good angle for the first couple corners. Potentially a bit of arms up there, depending on how much speed you want, or how much speed you have. Yeah, that path is fine. That, it's not difficult. I think it just caught me off guard the first time around. I want to see what 80% steering looks like on this turn. Looks pretty good. I like 80% steering on that turn. I really like this track. Quick Racer makes maps that really fit, I think, my strengths in this game. Which is just nice, smooth corners. For the most part, no big jumps or anything like that. Just classic racing lines and smooth driving. <laughs> that wasn't very smooth driving. I was thinking about what this other finish looks like. So you could enter, but I think it's just so much further away. Yeah. Wow, 80% steering is really good on that first corner. Did you get used to that transition there? Because I keep getting thrown off by where the different corners come at you. Lots of change in banking. Oh. So Maki's currently in the lead, but I was told that he was the tester for this map, so he's not actually allowed to play. If you were, then he's almost always the favorite to win. Um, other than that, Round and Kern in second and third right now. I think they have the most wins of the people actually racing today. I think it's four wins each for them in Cup of the Days. But a lot of very fast drivers in this lobby for sure. Yeah, that was nice. Stay very inside for that corner. Ugh. So you don't get any bouncing from the banking changes. I hope that's not a possible inner. That would really suck.
I hope the second half of turn one isn't a possible inner either. Author time is 44.9, just under 45. Quick Racer tends to have pretty fast author times on his maps. That can be a good judge of if there's anything I'm missing. I really like this map. This, so far, this is one of my favorite Cup of the Day maps, I think. Not hugely surprising, because Quick Racer is one of my favorite mappers, but... Oop, a little bit too tight. Gaining any speed anywhere. Oh, I keep getting airtime there too, which I don't want. You can kind of cut the corner a little bit into that purple piece on the far left. They're seventh place so far, that's pretty good. Uh, but it's a ways off of Kern Cobb and Round way up there. Curious how much time I save um, on this uphill just before jumping into the void section. So I keep taking this corner really tight and it's causing me to get air time. So that time I didn't. It's basically no arms up if you have good speed. And it adds, like, no difference <laughs> in time. Ugh. This is a track I think I can be very consistent on. But consistently doing a low 46 isn't gonna get me a great result. One thirty one speed. I'm gonna keep track of speeds this time. I always forget to do that. One thirty one, one fifty. One sixty two. One forty at the top and one forty speed. It's almost perfect with no arms up. Forty-six point one. So that's I was down for most of that run, and that ended up being a PB. One thirty. Although that's so early, it's probably not going to be a big speed difference. One thirty-one again. One fifty. This is a lot of numbers for me to memorize, because I think all, all of these checkpoints are kind of important, what speed you're going through. Very consistent on the speeds, though. A little bit of air time, but that might have been good, although I lost a little bit of time. Sub 46. Still 8th place. Everybody above me is really fast drivers, though. And Maki, I'm pretty sure, is not competing. Looks like Maki was thinking about doing that inner, which I think I'm just going to avoid unless that proves to be definitively faster as we progress through the cup. I think this is a track to it's it's simple enough that you're just gonna get slightly faster every time you do it. Anyway, cup starts now. Good luck, have fun.
There we go. little wider than I'd like to be, although it kind of works with the 80% steering, so I might be okay. Good speeds. Or at least matching what I was doing in warm-ups. Quick racer tracks feel a lot like my tracks do. It's just a lot of banked corners and smooth steering. Ugh. 46 4. I could do better than that, but that's sixth fastest right now. This first round's probably won't matter too much because this is a track I'm consistent on. So there's really no risk of me having a particularly bad time in one round and getting knocked out because of that. Should be feeling pretty good into at least top 15. I think a lot of the time uh, to gain is just going to come from taking some of these corners tighter than I already am. So I'm not being super aggressive pushing it against the walls. Plus 4 speed. Alright, 46 flap. 5th fastest. Bunch of DNFs. Like I said, Maki's not racing because he was the tester for this map. Okay, I don't think you can get onto that inner without smoking tires. Lighter DNF. That's a surprise. There shouldn't be a track that causes too many DNFs. That final uh, broken road piece, the purple turn at the very end is a little scary every time I go over it. But I don't expect to see many DNFs from here on out. It's a couple speed down from where I like to be. Ultimately, I just need to run. That's the most important thing. Give it a little arm up to get over that hill. Ugh. Yeah, still a fi uh, 46 1 at the end of that, so. Pretty good. Ooh, I triggered the 80% a little bit early. Still made the turn fine. 131 speed, that's good. A little bit of air time. Still a bunch of DNFs I'm seeing. Forty-five nine PB. Fifth place, Kern Cobb. Does get a time. Okay, <laughs> thought Kern might be out for a second. Renergy DNF'd because he sneezed. Apparently, that's unfortunate. Sorry, Renergy. Forty-nine zero is the cutoff time right now. few people in the 47s and 48s, but most are in the 46s. We haven't seen anybody match author time yet. Like I said, Quick Racer has pretty good author times on his maps. Okay, I'm curious what the speed is here, because that wasn't... Okay, 131. That didn't feel comfortable to me. But if I have good speed, then I'll keep going. 140... Oops! Still have time for two runs. Uh, 
shouldn't need two runs either. Like I said, I think I'm pretty comfortable until about top 15. Maybe even top 10. What's not helping me right now is that my hands are very cold, making me a little bit shaky on some of the turns. Oh, and I actually don't have time for another run. I'm going to spectate somebody who is on a run while I try to warm my hands up. Matt's pretty quick, we'll see what he's doing. Bit wider there, but I, I don't think you need to do that because I'm not getting any airtime the way I'm doing it. Pretty much matching my speed. He gets a little bit of bounce there, and he cuts very aggressive. Okay, I'm going to try that probably on the next round. Jumping a bit onto that purple piece. Ooh, that looked weird. I don't know if that was intentional or not. Forty sevens now that getting eliminated. This is gonna be really tight times at the top once we get into the top sixteen. <laughs> okay, that was a little awkward. I don't know if it looked awkward, but it felt awkward. One thirty speed is not the best. I'm just gonna take this run. Just get a time first. Actually, somehow recovered to 140. Jumping low to that inside purple piece seems a little risky, but you do avoid the bounce you get from that banked piece. Burn Cobb needs a time again. Be really nice if he could get eliminated here and I don't have to worry about him. Now nah, he got the time. Okay. Wonder how tight it's worth taking that turn, because you do get the bounce at the end of that. Okay, a lot of air time. Did not help me there. Can definitely do that smoother though. I was kind of playing it safe because I didn't want to crash on my first attempt. Looks like Ronan going to be out in 22nd. Like I said, my times are very consistent, but there's so many people doing the 46s. It kind of feels like anybody could be out at any time. Ultimately, it's about not being last. Sometimes that means you get unlucky with the times your competitors put down. Do you get one more speed at that checkpoint by going wide? Then I seem to have lost all of the speed I gained. One fifty four speed there is really good though. I'm gonna go for that cutting the uh onto the in the purple piece. Love the 80% steering there. I doubt many people are doing that, if anybody else. Just tapped the wall there. Didn't seem to 
hinder me. I'm doing a tap of arms up there just to make sure I don't get a bounce. Ah, that was as clean as I've done that so far. Forty-five eight, personal best. Let's keep it going. That's only ninth though. A lot of people are improving, I guess. Got a couple people up in the forty-five point ones. I might play with players on in the next round to see if I can pick up some of what Round or Froggy or Curran are doing. That was pretty nice. Only 150 speed. Not entirely sure what the best way of taking that second and third corner is. Whoop, lag spike, whoa. Okay, 45.9. Pretty good. I don't think I'm going to see anybody. Here, I'll spawn in uh, too much later. Round is very consistent with those 45.1s. One sixty three, that's a new best there. That's a personal best for me, forty five point seven, still eighth place. Man, a lot of people are getting better. This is the last round of four eliminations. It's going to be two eliminations per round. Now, once we get into the top 13. This is where it, it's going to be really tight, these elimination times. Because where am I? I'm at a point seven. It's not quite as tight in this round as I thought it'd be. But I think anybody in like the 6th to 13th range could be having a 46.0 round. That might get eliminated. Love to know where that extra six, seven tenths is that other people are getting. Oof, that was I was a little concerned. That's a good time though. That should be safe. Let's see, sixth place, probably safe. It's hard to tell because I feel like anybody can do a time that can get out. I'm gonna do that first turn again. up a bit. That's nice to see. That was kind of a wide turn. Yeah, there goes all of the time I gained. You can probably cut that purple turn way more to the inside than I am.
Still, I'm getting really consistent with sub 46. Just not a whole lot faster than that. Like the 45.0 that Froggy just put down. Yeah, now these are the tight times. I was talking about the low uh, point eights and all the point nines. Very close. One fifty one. That's nice. I'm guessing if people aren't putting down times, it's because they're trying to cut that too aggressively. And honestly, I think I need to be cutting that more aggressively than I am. Wow, that was a good time, though. Might be going too wide in the entry of that corner, also. Man, this is a really good run. <laughs> One fifty seven, wow. Okay, just do that consistently. Forty five point three. Five point eight is the cutoff point. This is where it gets uh, real high pressure. I do. I usually say I shoot for top ten in this, so I've done that. I feel like I can do even better on this track. Although now that I say that, I've probably just jinxed myself. So let's see. Yeah, that felt pretty good. One fifty one. Nice. Only 140 there. I was at 142 on that really fast run. Wonder how long Quick Racer grinded oh. author time. Cause I still don't think I've seen anybody uh, get that sub 45. Ah, a little bit too tight. Curran, you should totally DNF this round. Whew, I think that's the best I've done, those first two checkpoints. Oh, I hit the inside. Somehow it didn't ruin my run. It's not going to be better than the previous one, but I'm surprised it wasn't way worse. Okay, into the top seven then. Unless I get double sniped at the last second. It's a pretty good top seven. Froggy, Round, and Kern Cobb have won Cup of the Days before, and they are definitely the three favorites. Froggy, by the way, first person to get author time. Yep, 
Yeah, those three are consistently getting point three or faster. Which I am not. I've only gotten a point three once. Definitely feels like there's a gap between the top three and the rest of us. I like this run. I really like this run. There's another point three. Still not what the top three are doing. Actually, Mount the fastest right now. Froggy not very good after that uh, 44.9 they put in in the last round. Still tight on whether that time gets eliminated or not. That was pretty tight. Pretty much even through two checkpoints. Yeah, I didn't think that felt very good. That felt pretty good. Again, even. Ugh. Did not improve. Do I need to? St. Nick and Reed Freak currently out. Just watching the leaderboard. All right, top five. Let's go. I do think the four people left are faster than me, just consistently. So it'll be a shock if I make it past this round. It is only one elimination, though. I only have to be one of them. Oh, man, that was good. Only 150 speed, and I had to wiggle a little because I thought I was going to hit that wall. One forty's all right. Little bit of air time, not ideal. Pretty good ending. Point five's not going to do it against these guys, though. See. Gonna take this run, I guess. It's not an improvement, though. Please don't get a time map. Ah, this isn't it. No, Matt, why? Ugh. Darn, yeah, well. That's basically what I expected just from seeing uh, the times really through the entire tournament. Round, Froggy, Kern Cobb been the top three. Matt's been kind of getting those times to match them. So I I'm pretty happy with that finish, actually. That's uh, it's about as high as I think I could have done without some issues from the top four. I know I could put in a point three, but I, I also know Matt can put in a lot better than... Point four six. So Matt loads in fastest. They're all very tight on that first corner. Matt resets. Kern resets. Yeah, these guys are just getting so close to the walls, which is the one thing I knew I was kind of not doing. I was trying to in those later rounds. But definitely looks like these guys are much tighter on all of these corners at the beginning than I was. Yeah, aggressively jumped to the left there. I actually don't think that looked particularly clean for either of them.
uh, 44.9. So that is faster than author time per round. Apparently that was a clean jump for both of them because those are good times. Let's see what current cop is doing. Matt, a 45.0. Wow. 45.1 is currently the cutoff that Kern needs to get. I know Kern can do that, but even for these top four, that is a particularly fast time you have to beat. Only 156 speed. Ooh, it aggressively jumps the broken road piece. Does not get it. 45.2, so Kern Cobb is out. Kern Cobb, who has four Cup of the Day wins. Round also has four. Froggy has one, and Matt does not have a Cup of the Day win yet. In hindsight, I, I probably should have been cutting that last corner over the broken road piece, because I know you can do that on that road piece. Matt doesn't go for it, though. Actually, that that is a little bit of a sketchy broken road piece to try jumping. Point one two seven, though. That's an insane time to be on the cusp of elimination. It's a fairly simple map, just smooth lines and driving well, so um, it will lead to some very close times in these final rounds. Roggy a bit tighter there than I am. I saw it to 95% steering, so no, I was doing 80% through that entire corner. Froggy doesn't go as wide as the first two gets a little bit of airtime, but also it saves a little bit of time because it's less distance traveled. One forty one at the top is pretty fast. I think one forty two is my record there. Matt was very far to the right. And he's getting passed by rounds now and just goes for a reset. That's the right move. Get yourself as much time as possible. Cause that was not going to be a good run and the forty five point two is not incredible from round either. We know Matt can do that. We know all these guys can do that, because that, that time would have been eliminated in the last round. One sixty-three speed at that checkpoint is very good for Matt. Ooh, air time. I don't think that's good. He does cut in well over there. He's, he is slow, though. I, I do not think that time is going to do it. Let me see what Round is doing. Very nice jump. Oh, Matt does get it, a point two one three. so that time was fast enough. Although I think Round has looked better at the second half of this. And he does take it back, 45.204. Wow, that is close. Froggy and Round, probably the two favorites based on the times I've been seeing throughout the entire cup. Um, I think... My memory is already gone. Let's see. Yes, they are the two who have beaten author time and their personal bests are one thousandth of a second off from each other. Either of them could win this. Again, round has four wins. Froggy has one. Round, by the way, is four and zero in Cup of the Day finals. So, be tough for Froggy to buck that trend. Round would also tie Yanja and Zoman with five Cup of the Day wins if he wins this. He does go for an early reset. And Froggy does get more airtime there. I was debating the entire cup whether that was better or not. 162 verging on 163 speed. That's pretty fast. Bit of airtime there also for 140. Do kind of want to see what Round is doing. Very tight on that corner. I'm going to kind of go back and forth between these two. 155 cuts the broken road piece a bit. Round, I think, could have gone a little further to the left there, but that's fine. Matches the 155 speed at the top of the hill. 45.2, not the best time. 45.1, round in the lead. We know both of these guys can do sub 45s. So I think we've only seen it once from each of them. Or maybe twice from Froggy, who goes for the late reset. I'm going to do my best to watch both of these guys. Ground very tight to the inside there. Froggy hugging that white line on the inside of turn one. 
131 speed at that checkpoint. Looks pretty good through here. Go up to round two here. It's 140 speed at the top of the hill. 163 is nice from Froggy there. Gets 141 speed at the top of the hill and round, ooh, a little bouncy at the end. Does not improve and Froggy, I think, is on a very good run. Oh man, that post was coming at him though. <laughs> and Froggy is out, round five and zero in the finals. Incredible scoreline. Uh, congratulations round on another Cup of the Day win. If you want to see Cup of the Day results, I will post my spreadsheet in the description below. And if you want to join Cup of the Day, I will also post the link to the CTR Discord below uh, where the Cup of the Days are announced. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.